Ah, beautiful here, beautiful. Now on the way down is even better because all of these landscapes will be in front of me. Excellent. No guys now. I have all of this and I will give it to you guys. All of this for you. All of this for you. Nice. Amazing. Very pleased with this trip. Very pleased. And it just started. I have so many things to see. Oh, man. See the road? I was going down there. Man, nice. this mountain What are you doing? Just one example guys, that's why we ride slowly because you never know when a guy like this will cut you. Yeah, come back, all good. It's coming. coming? Yeah. Okay. You want to go? Yes. Okay. All right. So actually, they're checking everybody who is going up need to come back. Go, go. Uh, it's all right, it's good. It's good. Uh, it's on the way up. They scan your passport, make you a picture, on the way back they ask you, is everything okay, and so on.
just came to the same restaurant we ate last night from uh, Kujara Pass 180 kilometers all together we're gonna eat something and continue you're okay? good we made one hour break a little longer had to, uh, to eat something we got, we got a lunch actually but it was fine because uh, from 9 o'clock uh, up to Kujara Pass and back we did not stop at all only on the pass so it was alright now we go on the way to Hunza and we're gonna spend the night in Hunza Tell me, what do you think? Look at this. Now we have to go again to the to the tunnels. There are five tunnels, five big, five big tunnels. They start preparation for tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be uh, this Memorial Day. The day we've got two days ago. Tomorrow is going to be the biggest, the biggest event. So tomorrow we're going to have a day off because all the streets will be blocked. And looking for hotel now in Hunza. Let's see what is the situation here. So this will be our hotel, thanks to my friend Enif, the price is excellent, $20 for two days, just, just great. All right. I'll go to find a place to change the oils and then we can relax I met a couple of uh, guys from the western world what's your name? Matthew from Canada from Canada and you're? Peter from Austria okay and you're? Carlos from Spain Carlos from Spain we've got uh, a wonderful meeting here for about 30 minutes they just uh, got their pizzas and tomorrow is day off, so tomorrow we together will go and explore this part of the, the world. See you tomorrow, huh? My pleasure. Ciao. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this guy with Kalashnikov here. It's a normal. Don't worry, it's a normal. All right. Okay, <clears throat> another day, <clears throat> another adventure.
my friend just dress up like a fashion model of Pakistan. This is the room. It's all right, of course. And if got me very nice deal for about twenty dollars for two days, yeah, something like that, yeah. And if twenty-five hundred, about twenty dollars. Yeah, yeah. The bikes are there, so we're gonna right up to the few attractions here. So, hello guys. Where we are now? In Baltit Fort. Baltit Fort. Hunza Karima, Bad oh, Baltit Fort. Old town Hunza. So last time when we were here two days ago, we were with all of our gear and we don't have chance to climb up, but now we will. All right, let's do it. So actually, you have to climb this hill to see what is on the top. How are you, my friend? Hello. Tired? <laughs> All right. And this old house. How the room is staying, huh? The room staying over the the path. And this old house is uh, nice to walk on the shadow. Good. And of course the view is spectacular as usual. Look at this. So this is Peak Arakaposhi. I think it was 8,000 and something, yeah? Meters. One of the most dangerous peaks. Amazing view. Alright. So we're getting closer. And it's even stiffer here. Come on, my friend, come on. Yeah, push, yeah. push, push. Few more meters, few more meters. All right. All right. And of course, the view from here. The view, ah, man. Amazing. So this is actually, yeah, like the old fort. Yes. So that's it, about it fort. Gonna visit it in. Look at this door. With all of this handmade work. Oh, it is too, too low. All right, all right. Salam alaikum. Very good, very good. How are you? Salam alaikum. Where you come from, sir? Bulgaria, Bulgaria. It's in Europe. Europe. Next yeah. to Turkey. Good, good. Like this. Very narrow. Old stairs. Old. This is 700 years old. All right. All right. Good. Let me see it. Good morning and assalamu alaikum. This is me, your guide, Ajaz at Baltic Fort in Hunza. Okay. Uh, I understand it is known to you that uh, you are in northern parts of Pakistan which is called Gilgit Baltistan now. All right. Uh, this valley is known as Hunzanagar Valley. Okay. We are surrounded by the mountains of Karakurums here. These mountains are not green. They are not having any trees because we don't have any green uh, vegetation. 
because there is no monsoon rainfall here. Yeah. So in this valley, we uh, this was a independent state known known as Hunza in the olden days. We have two old forts here, known as Altit and Baltit Fort. Mm -hmm. Baltit Fort, where you are now, is the second old fort in Hunza Valley. Okay. This fort is nearly 800 years old yeah. because uh, we had carbon dating tests in mm -hmm. 1990s, and uh, with reference to those tests, the oldest phase was 765 years in 1990s. Right. Uh, please note that the entire structure was not constructed in one time. Okay. Many additions were made here in different times of the history of Hunza. Okay. For example, the last major changes came the last ones mm -hmm. uh, in British times because Hunza Nagar Valley was conquered by British forces in December 1891. Yeah. British uh, had the fear of Russian movement through this valley to India. Yeah. To prevent this, British decided to conquer in okay. December 1891. Okay. And British installed a new ruler known as Mir Nazim Khan, because yeah. the previous one was Mir Safdar Khan, who ran away to China, Xinjiang. Okay. During the British times, glass windows were added on the third floor, okay. and this fort was used as a living residence until 1945. Oh, right, right. After 1945, the last Mir Afunza moved to his new palace, mm. and then this fort was no longer used as a residence. So it was really damaged a lot, mm. and this fort has been restored by Prince Karim Aga Khan between 1990s to 96 in six years. And this is a public property now. Um, which is managed by a private public trust. Mm -hmm. We have a website on the internet. Please check www.baltitfort.org. You will get information in English, in Urdu, in German, and also in Japanese languages. So thank you very much for your visit. Thank you very much for the detailed information. Yeah. Your name, please? My name is Pavlin. Pavlin, you have uh, a nice name. Uh, I am Ajaz Beg here. Okay, yeah. nice to meet you, nice and thank you, meet you very you, much sir. for the info. Huh? Of course. My friend, uh, Kasim will show you the rest of the building now. Okay. Kasim, yeah. this is the lobby, okay? All right, them. thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. So that will be collect, they will be using as a stone and the wooden life to here. This okay. is a stone pot. For the kicking is the horse saddle. Mm -hmm. We're using the horses and the yachts for the traveling. Mm -hmm. Before 1960, now we're using the Krakrum Highway. Before 1960, the Hunza was the famous from the old Silk Road. Yeah, yeah, the form the horses and the yachts for the travel. Yeah, yeah, the Hunza Silk Road, yeah. This is the first weapon in Hunza. Bow and arrows. The, using the hunting from the animals and defense from the herself. Uh -huh. When the will be Russians will become the mountain areas, they introduce the Russian guns. When they start the musket to here first time. All right. Oh, my, it's too, too tiny here. And it's too dark. Ah. So this room is too dark, uh, I will just try to show you something, but not really. They can just, they will give the doors out there. Okay, so these, these are actually, these rows are very old, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I mean, you can see this is the counting. Yeah, yeah. I can see the numbers. All right. If you can see every uh, pillars, you can see the doors and everything. This is the, the measurements. Okay. Yeah, more numbers here and here. All right. Okay. Finally, we come to the royal kitchen. Okay. It's the royal kitchen. You can see the metal. The metal will become later here, come to the 1750. Before Hunza people, they used pen from the stone. You can see some stone pots. That's a black one. That's the stone black pen. They okay. make chapatis. Yeah, chapata. Yeah. As a trailer is the backside for the pumpkins, they can store the water. Is the near the wooden box? It's look like for the slender shape to oh. make the buttermilk. Yes, yes, yes. And this small box, this is the mouse trap. Mouse trap, yeah, it's yeah. yeah. <laughs> it it looks like mouse trap. <laughs> yeah. And backside, these storages they're using the gold storage is two, three hundred years old. The bolted for backside was the glacier, and once the glacier the man just goes to two, three hour train from the glacier. When they near the glacier of the bolted for, they're using as a small holes, the winter will become inside. They're using as a freezer for this one. All right, so this is actually the freezer. <laughs> yeah. In every room, they use a natural sunlight, light for this. Yeah, natural sunlight, yeah. Like this one yeah. will be observed together. We're using the ventilation, the center portion. All right, and now we're going on a good light. 
Well, all right. Well, when the weather can play, you can see some mountains to here. And the faint one is Rakaposhi. Rakaposhi Peak. Rakaposhi Peak. Rakaposhi Peak. His height is 7,788 meter. And the second, they're inside for the cloud. That's a uh, Duran Peak. Duran Peak height is 7,226 meter. And here we can see some pre uh, snowfall mountains. Yeah. Behind there is the Skurdu. Skurdu side they're calling the Spontic. And okay. Hunza side we're calling the Golden because they give the golden of the title of the uh, Spontic. When the sunset and the sunrise, the peaks will be looking a little bit golden. Okay. They give the title of this as a golden peaks. Golden peaks height is 7,072 meter. Okay. And our big side, Ultra 1, Ultra 2, we can see to here, but behind the Rocky Mountain, there's the Larry Finger and Hunza Peak is also. Oh, okay. This area, i are using is the cot, and we're using the summer cot. Okay. The prince can sit in tone. Papers will be outside, not for come to the all people, just they will become joined to monastery and their high officials will be joined their gods to here. The all prince right. can sit in throne. This throne was a four, five hundred years old throne. Okay, so this is the actual throne of the prince. Yeah? Yes. Ah. All right. And I can show you the second for the outer fort, which one is the older one of the Balkan for the boat. You can see the top of the tower. Yeah. That's the Altis Fort. It's 1100 years old. And the Baltic Fort will become to the 800 years. Oh man, yes, this is our second fort over there. Look at the view from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you can see that it is really old. I can't believe that this was the palace of the prince. Hmm. Okay, so now we go to summer rooms, yeah? Yeah, that's where we will join the summer rooms. Oh. Well, the SRG room is using uh, a reception hall. The summer reception hall, we can display the two sides of the pictures. The one side, if you can join to here, this is the rulers who can rule in the Hunza. Okay. There's the rulers. And the second side for the Prince Kare Maga Khan. There's not relation to each other. There's the ruler. And the second one is just only four donors. It's the main source who can give the 80% donation when the renovation of the bulb is Yeah. It's very scary much. Well, this room is using it's the summer bedroom. Oh, very nice carpet. It's the cover of the throne. Oh, it's the not original. The original oh. room is full of gold, then we can display this copy. Ah, uh, so this is the cover of the throne? Yeah, it's not original. It's a copy. The original one is full of gold. Oh, I see. So then this is replica. Copy. If you can see some uh, trade agreements with the Hunza in China, there's the trade agreements. You can see that there's a Chinese and the Persian. Persian was the oil, oil, oil official language before 1974. Yeah. When we are part of the Pakistan, we can leave the Persian, okay. we can accept Urdu. And the Chinese, this is the official language of the China in Hunza. Mm -hmm. This is the edition in 1911. It's a Kashmirian design of the, uh, is the silving. When here, Prince Mir Muhammad Nazim Khan, he can attend from the India Delhi Darbar when he come back. He can impress is the Mughal culture, and he come back here. He he can give addition some new balconies, okay. whitewashing walls, and the color for mirror windows. He can, he can add the third floor. This is the addition in the 1911s. All right, this is nice. Well, uh, this uh, room is what we call it is a sun room. When the sunny day, they can sit in here, okay. and they can enjoy the festivals. Not the down there is this uh, school ground. We call it just a uh, school ground, also parking. Yeah. And all the time they had not school, not big buildings. They're playing the polo match, and royal families can enjoy the polo match to here to the oh, They can watch it from here, all right. Yeah. And also the glory of the Rakaposhi, when the weather will be complete, especially sunset and uh, sunrise, the Rakaposhi looking is amazing. Yeah. Very, very <laughs> impressive view here. This is the addition in 1931, the British can introduce the first time to form to here. The black one is the charger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the Russian guys. The Russians will be introduced the first time here in the 18th century. But each side recording is a gunpowder was originally most a musket. Yeah, yeah. This is also the industry of the royal families. All right. Well, this room is losing the same winter bedroom when the weather will be not complete outside the company internal rooms that will be sitting. In winter bedroom, you can see it looks like every facilities. Also heating, cooking, dining, sleeping. Internal, they will use the storages. 
in student, they'll get bulk of sun using the sun battery box. Yeah, all so right. Here in our home, this one is a jewelry box. The princess can, the royal families can give from the princess for the royal family. All right. This is the gift. Okay. Party okay. room. Yeah. It's the fun. The China will be introduced the first time to Koran store here in 1920-23. Just three years they will be using the China and Hunza. It's the same the Chinese and the Persian. The Paper both currency. stars will be used into each other. Before, the Hunza was the barter system. All right. And the second instrument, this is the local instrument in Gilgit, but the Sunday three men want to. But early time, they call it the outdoor instrument, especially the fall on match area. This is the outdoor instrument. And our base side, this is the Sufi instrument that will be used in the indoor. All right. Here we can display some spoons. And at the time they had not metal, they were using as a wooden. That time not concept from the rice in the mountain area. Okay. Just they were using soup and apricot juice. Okay. That's the gift from the China side is a, is a camel wool carpet and it's 300 years old carpet. 300 years old carpet. Yeah. And it's made by the camel wool carpet. Camel wool, all right. It's the same Russian gun. Russian gun. Okay, so. Well, sir, this one is the last room. I uh, hope you enjoy your tour. Mm. Well, thanks for your coming and thanks for your donation. Thank you very much. It was very informative. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, guys, everything was interesting. I'm afraid that the video became too long, but you can always skip it. No worries. You don't need to watch it, but some might want it. All right, another one spectacular view. So try to, to, to grab the grapes. <laughs> okay. Mashallah, mashallah. <laughs> Thank you very much. A short break for breakfast. Or it is lunch already. Huh? Yes, maybe. It's lunch already. Yeah. Okay, just to show you how they prepare our meals. The actual restaurant. Nice, huh? Enif. Nice. Yeah, very nice. I'll make some pictures as well. Okay, we just came to one famous point, Eagle Nest. With our new friends, Peter and Claudia, yeah? Yes. All right. From Austria. They work like a really nice team with this heavy loaded motorcycle. So when he stopped, she helped and all the time. Good. So we need to climb the we need to climb this hill. Good. Go my friend, go. Alright. The view must be spectacular from the top. Go, go my friend, go, 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 go. Okay, so this is the spot. I'm gonna climb on the top of that rock. So there are many rocks. And that platform will be great. Just want to show you this. It's an amazing spot. Look at this. So this is a big rock posh over there. I couldn't remember the name, the names of the rest. What? Ruika. Duika. Yeah. Okay, so the, that, that one is Duika. It's called the Duika. Duika. This is the Duika viewpoint. Okay. This one is Rakaboshi and this one is the Alter Peak with the lady finger. W what is the name of this? The Alter Peak. Alter Peak. Yeah. All right. And they are all above 7,000, yeah? I don't. I well, I guess this I one is that. around 24,000 feet. Yeah, I can calculate it now in feet. Yeah, 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 that's more than 7,000. Hello. 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 These are also tourists from Karachi. Yes. Hello. Oh, yes, yeah, small baby. Her name is Rania. Rania. Yes, she's one year old. Okay. And Rania, yeah. say hello. And, say and hello. she already been to this beautiful hello. place. <laughs> 
Say hello. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. How are you, my friend? Yeah. Feel good? Feel good. All right. Eagle Nest. I think this is very proper name, Eagle Nest. Nice place. Very nice. So far, maybe this is the best place I've been for my trip. I cannot stop watching. So beautiful here. So beautiful. The sunset coming very fast here. So it doesn't matter how much we like it. We need to go because we are with bikes. Yeah. All right. The elevation here is 2,800 meters. And this is my friend Enif. Make me picture. <laughs> okay, go down. Take the bikes and go to eat pizza. Eating, talking. <laughs> nice, nice time, Having huh? Fun. Having fun in Pakistan. Pakistan Zindabad. Pakistan Zindabad. Pakistan Zindabad. Pakistan Zindabad. Pakistan Zindabad. Pakistan Zindabad. <laughs>